A woman who fatally stabbed a boyfriend in the heart after a night in the pub has been jailed for life with a minimum term of 18 years. Emma Walsh knifed Gary Morgan to death at her home in Everton on the evening of April the 10th this year. Last week she was unanimously convicted of murder by a jury. The 31-year-old returned to Liverpool Crown Court today to be sentenced. Walsh sat, turned away from the public gallery at all times during the hearing. Sentencing the Honorary Recorder of Liverpool Judge Andrew Menrick, KC, said you and he had been in a relationship for about a year before that fatal night. It began well enough and there will have been good times, but for much of his existence, it was a temptuous relationship marked by frequent unpleasant arguments. I have no doubt that many of these were the result of your extreme irrational jealousy and your consequent desire to dominate Gary Morgan's life to restrict his movements. Judge Menery described Mr Morgan as a kind, quiet and considerate man who was loved by all adding, you were making his life an utter misery. For little or no reason, but typically, when you were drunk, your temper explodes and Gary Morgan was often at the receiving end. The reality is that Gary Morgan posed no threat to you at all that night. It is a tragic irony that so many members of his family and Gary Morgan himself predicted that if he stayed with you, a woman he so obviously loved, you would end up killing him. You knew full well that you had an explosive temper and were prone to using implements to cause harm. There have been plenty of warnings in the past, but you were unwilling or unable to change. A three-week trial previously heard that the couple first met in March 2021 when Walsh contacted the 36-year-old Mr Morgan who had his own landscaping business over Facebook. But their year-long relationship was marred by domestic abuse. She attacked him with the tools of his trade, swinging a rake at him and leaving him with a big gash on his eyebrow after an attack with a spirit level. Mr Morgan was regularly seen with black eyes and even bite marks across his body. He was stabbed in the neck with a butter knife and reported in text messages revealed after his death that she had spat on him, punched him and refused to let him shower, smashed a glass and come at him with it and threatened to send crocky heads to his mum's house. He told a friend that she had tried to bite his nose off while his own father had witnessed her throw a subway sandwich at him and kick him in the head. Sunday April the 10th, Walsh and Morgan went to a pub to watch Liverpool against City on the teddy before staying for karaoke. They returned to the bungalow where they lived, where she stabbed him and killed him in the chest in a drink fueled explosive rage. Afterwards, she claimed that he'd been attacked by some fella in town before suggesting that one of her former partners may have been responsible. The murderer then changed the story to say that he had sustained his fatal injury after falling onto a broken shard of plastic from a Bluetooth speaker. Walsh belatedly confessed that she had indeed been responsible, but claimed that she had done so in self defence after he began throttling her. However, it was brought up in court that she actually had a history of attacking her boyfriends with weapons in the past. This included plunging a knife through the wrist of one, severing an artery. Walsh later pulled a knife on another partner and threatened to stab him. Her defence said, What is apparent is that drink played a part in this relationship on both sides. This is not a case where you can safely conclude there was an intention to kill. There was clearly a lack of premeditation. The court had heard evidence of long history of suffering from anxiety and depression, and they said it is right to say the defendant had an unsettled childhood, moving from fostering placements to fostering placements. just want to say rest in peace, Gary, and my condolences go out to your family. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.